Hello everybody and welcome back to Animal Crossing City Folk. Today, uh, there's a bug on this this tree. It might be one we already got. But I'm gonna check. And the best way to check is to catch it. Got it. Caught a, oh, may I'm a stag beetle. I beat the beetle. Cool. I don't know what kind of joke that was trying to be. Um, yeah, today is probably the first day in a while I'm not tired. I mean, I'm a little tired, but I'm not, like, dead tired, as I have been, like, the past three days. Which means it's great, because I'm actually going to be able to re return to what I normally do. Um, today we will be heading into the city, because we didn't do it yesterday. I'm also going to be, because it is kind of... It's, it's getting dangerously close to change over time. I'm going to go and check the turnip prices. So again, if they're good today, I'm probably going to go with them. Oh, let's bump the microphone. Because, well, there's a chance a big storm's going to hit us. So, I want to make sure I don't lose power and lose out on turnips. Because knowing my luck, the power is going to go out around the time I can actually record and do things. 92. Okay, so the afternoon price will probably actually be a good selling price. It won't probably be great, but it'll be at least good. So there's that. Uh, how much inventory space do we have right now? Alright, we're, we're more than good to go to... Go to the city. I will take the bus. Today, I'm not actually sure how long the episode's gonna be, so... We'll, we'll have to see. It depends on how quickly I can get through everything. But, with that, I shall meet you all in the city. And we're back in the city! You know, one thing I've learned doing videos on this... The noise of the bus starts on the loading screen. Which is kind of annoying for wanting to give a, you know, a seamless transition. Because you really can't. Might as well stop in at Gracie Grace. Get to see if Gracie is in here. It'd be great to meet Gracie. Yeah. They're, they're still not getting ready to change. Darn it. Could you please start having a sale and get rid of this stuff? Just get rid of all of it. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes it. At all. Well, I'm sure there's somebody who likes it, but... I am definitely not one of those people. And we don't need any more toys from the Toy Man, Phineas, there. So let's just come over to the black market. And see if we can get a painting. This definitely looks like a new painting. It's a fine painting. Yeah, it is a very fine painting. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I haven't been referring people because I really can't read. Please, stop with the imitations. I don't... Well, I suppose I could probably give them to my animals. Like, I could write letters on them and send them out. But I don't... I don't want to spam my animals with invitations to, to your shady business, Red. Well, we might as well head back to the city now. There's nothing else really I want to do in... in, Yeah, head back to the city. Head back to the town. There's not much I want to do in the city. Nothing much I want to do in the city. Ah, I'm terrible at speaking. It's me back in the town. And we're back. And you know, riding on the bus just reminded me. I've been playing Your Truck Simulator 2 a fair bit again recently. I can't explain why that game is fun. It just is. 
And also, I'm going to be doing my best to actually talk properly. I, I run into that problem where I'll get... Basically, I'll get talking too fast. And I'm not able to stop myself. So I just kind of melt everything I'm saying together. And it's because in my head, it all sounds right, but I know when it comes out, it's just a jumbled mess. And it's purely because I'm talking too fast. I need to just slow down and actually talk, instead of just blurting out everything possible really fast. Which I almost did right there. Um, I'm really bad for that. Which isn't exactly great. Oh, pockets are full. Oh, I, I can't do that because my pockets are full. Well, uh, this is kind of annoying. Eh. Eh. There we go. Now pick up the 100. I can't get to Nooks quick enough. <laughs> now... Let us see. We will start with the painting. Because the painting has the highest chance of being... bad. Fine painting. Donate. Donut. Oh. But I'm pretty sure we didn't already have this painting. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's something else. So I wasted my money. With its thick, bumpy, armor-like exoskeleton, the Mayama Stag Beetle is quite popular with children. However, the truth is this beetle is fragile enough to perish from injuries we'd usually consider minor. Indeed, it appears this beetle suffers from a case of rather too much bark and too little bite. Bleh, enough I say, our thanks for the donation. Yeah, that's actually a thing, like, uh, in Japan, beetle fights are apparently quite common. Where, like, two kids will each catch a beetle, and then the, they'll have the beetles fight each other. And that type of beetle is popular amongst kids who don't know what it is. Because it looks like this tough, strong beetle. And then it just gets wrecked really quickly, because it's just... It cannot take a hit, basically. Which is kind of sad. Well, we might as well head into Nooks here. We won't have a flower to water because, well, it was raining yesterday. So everything's already watered. If we kept on top of watering things, nothing would ever wilt. Um, I just want to make that clear. Like, if I was actually on top of the... I'm going to... No, I'll hang on to the samurai suit. Let's say I'll sell it, but no, I'll, I'll hang on to it. Oh, no. That wasn't enough. Uh. Hold on, Nook. I really want Nook to just give us a new stack of money. So I'm gonna... Where? There it is. I just gotta catch some cicadas real quick. Pluck this. Because cicadas are probably the quickest way to get some money. Because they're kind of everywhere.
Three of them is probably good enough. Watch this only be worth like 60 bells. You know what? Oh, that was close. I almost hit tank. There. Now we have a peacock as well. Now we definitely have enough. Why our animals are visiting the museum? I thought they're just hanging around in the flowers. Can't really blame them for wanting to hang around in the flowers. I just did it again. I just did it again. I can't really blame them. Oh, that bothers me so much. But there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Which is the annoying part. Thank you, Nook. Finally. We can put this 9,000 there. And now we just have those two stacks there. And it's getting decently close to the time for us to be able to turn in our turnips, possibly. Kinda wish I would've started like a few minutes later, but if I had of the morning price probably would've been amazing and I wouldn't have had a whole lot of time to get every turnip there. Why do I always do that? Plant. Those flowers have been moved slightly now. Um, hmm. Well, we might as well check around for our fossil, I guess. We haven't seen one of those in a couple days, I don't think, so. I had to mention being tired. I'm getting tired now. It's great. Um. Yeah, I was talking about your truck. Might as well talk a little more about it. It, it is an amazingly fun game where all you do is drive a, a a delivery truck, basically. Like, it's a, you know, one of the... I don't even know what to call them because every everyone calls them a different thing. Like, in the UK, it's a lorry. Over here, it's generally a 16-wheeler because we're creative. Hey, here's the fossil. You're driving a big rig. I think that's a pretty commonly accepted name. I mean, it's it's, it's pretty fun. I actually, um... I had a save from a while back. Oh, here's another dig spot. Gyroid! Well, yeah, it was raining, so it makes sense there'd be gyroids around. Mega Puffoid. But yeah, I had a save from a while ago. And Oop, Amelia wants something here. Something seems a little off about you today. What is it, I wonder, cuz? Oh, I know. It's that samurai suit you have. Somehow you look less handsome carrying it. Since I'm such a good friend, how about I give you some ceramic tile for that? Sure. Oh, uh, really? Oh, good. Okay, then. Let's do this quickly and be done with it, cuz. Yeah, you want to hide the fact you're giving me a really bad deal here. You look much more refined now, darling. It's great, cuz. You're not even gonna put it on? It's kind of rude. Hey, hey, Tank. No, you're just gonna ignore me? Okay. Ugh. To continue what I was saying, I had a save a while back where I was like... I was like level 9, 9 or 10. I had a truck, I had an employee. The employee drove the truck. You know, for my little shipping company. And when I reloaded, when I reinstalled the game, like, tonight. And... Uh, um... Started playing. I got met with a few of the, you know... Where my save was so old, whoops, um, you know, my, my current job had been ended, and, you know, it had put me back somewhere safe, and if necessary, my truck had been put somewhere safe as well. My driver and truck were missing. They're not there. So my only thought is, my driver stole my truck while I was gone. And is now just probably running his own shipping company instead of making money for me 
the ungrateful bugger. I gave him a job. I gave him that truck. And he's just gone. Took it and run. But I guess that's what I get for not playing in like four years. Well, I suppose I played on my laptop. This was on my desktop. So. Like what I was playing last uh, this time was on my, my my desktop. Last time I was playing was on my laptop and it was about six months or so ago. Not six months or so ago. I didn't have a laptop then. How long ago did I get the laptop? Couple months. Time is weird in my head. And I'll go into why that is at some point down the road whenever I do a draw my life. It'll make a lot more sense to everybody once I can go into it, but I'm not gonna go into it here. Because I am not mentally prepared to go into why my head is terrible with time. Those... I've never heard cicadas that are like that in real life. I don't think I ever want to. Oh, I'm yawning now. Jeez. Hey, Nook. I do have some stuff to sell to you. And those two things. And what are the turnip prices? Oh, they're not good. Okay. So I'm guessing the morning tomorrow will probably be a pretty decent price. I hope the morning tomorrow will be a pretty decent price. I mean, the afternoon tomorrow would also be pretty alright, I guess. I mean, it's gonna be Friday, so... I will actually be around for both times, in theory. What are you? Darner? Yeah, Darner. Oh, yeah. I feel like at this time of the year, I should just walk around with the bug net out. Because... The fast bugs I need to be able to react to quickly. Like that dragonfly that evaded me yesterday. I scared a mantis off. But, yeah, I think that'll probably be it for today. So we'll pop into our house here and then head off to bed. I do kind of wish I didn't have to go all the way up here just to go to bed and save. I mean, I know I can save anywhere by just using the little th this here. But, I mean, it just feels nicer ending it in bed. So with that, I thank you all very much for watching. And I hope to see you again next time for more Animal Crossing City Folk. See you all then. <laughs>